Hey everyone, this is Bill White again, the Earth Sciences Librarian at CU Boulder. This time around, I want to show you all my favorite secret weapon for data, and that's OpenStreetMap. If you're not familiar with OpenStreetMap, it's kind of like the Wikipedia of GIS data, in that it's crowdsourced and that people can go in and make their own edits. And I'm looking at OpenStreetMap right now. Um, if you've ever been to the site, you know it's kind of similar to uh, Google Maps, uh, except it's all free and open data. So it's a it's a web map. Um, we can take a look at this. I'm looking here at uh, our campus area, and you can see they have all this stuff on here. And so you might be thinking to yourself, wow, there's all this data on here uh, that people can add on their own, and how can I use this data? So you can use some of the export tools. So I don't always find them to be that easy to use or come to you in a data format that's ready to just pop into GIS. So I'll share with you all my favorite method of exporting OpenStreetMap data. And that is to use QGIS. Okay, so I've got QGIS opened right now. QGIS is an open source alternative to ArcMap. It's free and uh, it works on Mac, it works on um, other operating systems, uh, unlike ArcGIS. I've loaded uh, OpenStreetMap as a base map. Uh, you can also do that in ArcGIS or ArcMap as well. When you go to add data, add a base map, you'll see OpenStreetMap as an option. You can do the exact same thing there. Um, one thing you can't do in ArcGIS that you can do in Q is actually export the features of this image into vector data. So one of the great things about QGIS, being that it's open source, is that um, the community of QGIS users can build and submit their own plugins. And there's a lot of great plugins for QGIS. So if you go up to the top of QGIS and click Plugins, click Manage and Install Plugins, it will open up this interface, which is the Plugin Manager. And um, if you search for um, a plugin called Quick OSM, you'll find it really quickly. So Quick OSM is just a really great um, plugin for QGIS for pulling out OSM data. Mine's already installed, so I'm not going to uninstall it and reinstall. But if you're doing this for the first time, just click install, and it will it will install in just a few seconds. Okay. So to use Quick OSM, you just go to the vector menu. And you'll find Quick OSM here, and you can click Quick OSM to open up the Quick OSM dialog. Now, uh, the thing to know is what keys you're going to query and what values, if, if you're going to query any values as well. So back in my web browser, I have a page open called the QGIS Wiki, and it's the map features. If you were to just Google um, OSM map features, you can find the same list. It's right here, same page. And uh, you'll find all the different things here in OSM and how they're coded, uh, which is really important. So if you wanted to get uh, buildings of a certain type, you could go down to building and say, hey, I only want um, certain types of building. I only want commercial buildings. I only want offices. I only want uh, churches or government, schools, university buildings, and all of that. Um, if you were looking for things like roads, you could go to the highway category, so the highway key, and then you'll see that there are these kind of different subgroupings under it, which are called values, so there's keys and values. So highway is the key for all roads, and then values are kind of the subgroupings. So primary roads would be um, major roads, things like uh, US 36 in our area. Uh, motorway would be things like highways uh, and on down. Tertiary roads, secondary roads, primary roads, residential, etc. So you can query all those things. Um, what I'll do right now with OSM is uh, grab just some buildings and I'm just going to do it for this area that we're looking at right now. Um, so first I'll type in buildings and it will auto-complete. If you're, if you're typing a key, it will just auto-complete it for you. And then if you want a value, you could type in a sub-category here. I'm just going to do just 
buildings and just get all of them. Um, and then the next important thing is that under N, you basically tell it the area of extent that you want to uh, look for something for. And for this example, I'm just going to do canvas extent. That will just grab everything that we can see right here on my screen. And that's it. So you click Run Query down here. And sometimes this step takes a little bit, depending on how big of an area. Uh, mine went pretty fast because I zoomed in pretty, pretty tight. And voila, we have our buildings just for the extent that my canvas was zoomed to. Um, what it's added here, I'll turn off my base map. What it's added here are uh, points, lines, and polygons for the buildings. Uh, really, the only one you need is buildings. Um, these other ones are kind of, I think the points represent like center points for buildings. Uh, I only care about the polygons. So what it has added is something called like a scratch layer or a temporary layer. And the thing you need to do now is just save it as a shapefile, uh, which is really easy to do. You just have to right click on the layer and you can go down to make permanent and tell it the format that you want to save it in. Shapefile is always a good safe bet. Um, click this little three dots button to assign a, a path to it. Uh, I'm just going to drop mine on desktop and name it uh, Campus Buildings. Save, and that's it. So now you can just click OK. And it has saved those. I dropped them onto my desktop, all those shapefile files. And I have a new layer here. So that's basically how it works. I think OpenStreetMap is a great tool. It's really wonderful for especially heavily populated, like urban areas. The data quality is really good. In rural areas, it can be a little hit or miss, but it can be a great backup for vector data if you're having trouble tracking down something. Or, or if you need something kind of more obscure that maybe other you know, public entities don't produce, sometimes like bike paths or bike parking or, or things like that. There's a lot of great stuff in there. So definitely check it out. And uh, I love QGIS for pulling some quick data layers out of OSM. So that's all for this video. Please feel free to email me at philip.white at colorado.edu if you have any questions. Bye for now.